YouTube world, it's Kirkpatrick here. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're back better than ever. Whew, had to get a clean in. Anyhow, uh, yeah, stars on the guitar. Boy, I got a good story for y'all tonight. Gee whiz. A couple years ago, I bought me one of them new Jeeps. Uh, Four-door with the pickup thing on it, you know. <clears throat> and I've been looking for one. I saw that booger. That's what I want. That's my truck. That's my truck for the rest of my life right there. It's a good one. And it's been a good one. So I stopped in the place, you know, made a deal and bought it. <clears throat> we drove it around a little bit, you know. Got it, drove it home. Next day it got out. It was a Sunday. Ride around the lake, go here and there, you know, check, <clears throat> check the old truck out. And I noticed I had a little bit of a, I don't know, a Watusi going on with the back end back there. Especially when I get up about 65. Uh, what the heck, you know. Did it again, did it again. I'm going to take this to Monday morning. I'm at, at the place, you know. And this little fella pulled up there in service, you know. And there's a couple of cars ahead of me in line. There's two bays. Coolest place you walk you, when you drive in is you drive on these little things that read your tires and you chip. They already know who you are. I mean, boom! They, technology nowadays just blows your mind. They know when you last got served. Anyway, they know I'm brand new and all that. <clears throat> What's wrong? I said something. Something ain't right on the passenger side rear back there. I can feel a little bit of you know, get up speed. So all right, we'll check it out. All right, I'm gonna go wait in the lobby. Yeah, that's fine. We we we'll get to you right away. Oh, great. And uh, kind of went the wrong way going toward the lobby, and I don't know, kind of walking through the shop where I wasn't supposed to. And uh, this little fella pops out from the side of a truck they had on a rack, and says, "Can I help you, bud?" Yep, can I help you, bud? Old stocky feller. He about four eleven. They called him Shorty. Obvious reasons. He looked like pig pen from Charlie Brown. I mean, you could soak this dude in Clorox and put a power washer on him. He's still never come clean. He'd been changing tars and oil and been bathing in grease all his dang gum life ever since he got out of high school. And and I said, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find a uh, waiting room. Oh, well, let me help you out there, bud. He said, come on, that way. I ain't going to stalk it further. I'll follow him. That right there, go right through that door right there. Which vehicle you got? I said, I got the black Jeep four-door truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's check that thing out for you. All right. <clears throat> so I, you know, sitting in there and. Wait room, they got a cup of coffee, they got a little refrigerator you can open up, got waters and Cokes and Sprites. Nice place, you know. Got a little area for the kiddies to play over there. Big TV on the thing, and I don't know, it was on one of them Hallmark movies so everybody won't get all tensed up, you know. Anyhow, so I sit there, <clears throat> the, uh, they give you this little buzzer thing, you know, put in your pocket. My little buzzer thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's that vibration. Oh, I'm ready. So I head back to the service department. Give them a thing. I said, what's wrong? I said, well, you got a uh, bad uh, rear wheel there. It's, the, the wheel's bad. So we put your spare on, which the truck I bought, the spare is the same wheel as the rest of them. It ain't no oddball <clears throat> and he said we gotta get you another wheel i said well how how long is that gonna take i got a trip coming up oklahoma here pretty soon you know i want to make sure I, everything's right because i may have a flat tire where i'm going you never know she said let me check and she, she came back she said well they're on back order and i said what does that mean she said well you get one when i get one I didn't really like that answer. I said, oh, I just bought this truck. 
last this Saturday. Paid sixty thousand dollars for this here truck. I want a dang wheel. I want to make sure I got a spare. Well, they back over there, nothing I can do. You can go see the manager you want to. All right. I walk out of there, you know, kind of standing there in front of the shop and service manager's office and see old Shorty. I said, hey. Come walking up to me, same thing as everybody. Can I help you, bud? I said, Jordy. They ain't got no wheel from a truck. Yeah, you got a bad wheel. It's warped. I said, well, I got to have a wheel. How can we get a wheel? He said, let me, let me think a minute. He said, stand right here. I'll be right back. He said, all right. <clears throat> he gone about 10 minutes. He come back. <clears throat> he said, hey, we got a wheel right here on the lot. I said, well, great. Go get them to change it out. Well, <clears throat> we're going to have to do some negotiating for that. And I said, I mean, what, you want money or something? No, 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 no. I'm trying to help you, bud. Just got to go talk to the manager. He said, there's a wheel just like yours on that brand new one out there. Now, they can take the spare tire out of it. A wheel, whatever, off of it, just like yours. And then they can wait on getting theirs because it's on back order. I said, Shorty, I like the way you think. He just go back and tell that manager all that. You'll have him then. <clears throat> so I swallowed up my coffee, got me a good, you know, inclination on, and went up there. And the manager told the manager what was going on. I got a bad wheel, so on back order. He's apologizing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, Well, if you want to make it good, and I shut up. Oh, yeah, I want to make it good. I want to make it good. I said, Well, all we got to do is get this wheel off that thing truck you got out there for sale put it on mine and then you wait on your back order because i just spent 60 grand with you it's the least you can do if you want to help me uh 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 you been talking to shorty said who oh uh, never mind all right we'll do it give me a little while to get everything moved around it's okay. I went back waiting room and they done was getting close to lunchtime then they done brought out these little finger sandwiches. Yeah. I mean sixty thousand dollars you ought to get a little something. So I sit there and eat finger sandwiches and drink me one of them free waters and they did what Shorty told me. Got done and everything. I went back there. I didn't that particular day I didn't have no money on me. <clears throat> You know, so to speak. I wanted to kind of tip Shorty. So I went back there and told Shorty, I said, Shorty, <clears throat> uh, thank you, you know, everything you've ever done. I said, uh, write, write your uh, mailing address down here. I got something I want to send you. Well, better not be no food. I got more food than I know what to do with it. So I just right, but Shorty, he did. I went to Walmart, you know, got him a $100 gift card and sent it to him. And then about, I don't know, a week later, just before I left to go to Oklahoma, <clears throat> I guess he had my address because I sent, you know, I got a wedding invitation. Shorty is getting married. Now, man, this Saturday, 11 o'clock, at the Free Will Baptist Church, Man, I got to go see this. And I did. <clears throat> and I went ahead and got another $100 Walmart card. <clears throat> went to the wedding, you know, and man, old country church sitting in the bottom. And 15 to 20 cars there. No, not really a big crowd. But nobody really dressed up. And went on in there. And there's Shorty. He's in a suit and a tie. There's his little old chunky bride with him. She's in a nice 
wedding dress. I looked over at Shorty, kind of winked my eye. He threw his little old hand up and pulled a little hand like I could see. Shorty had been in Greece all his life. He just like trying to dress pig pen up. No amount of money or no suit could ever take all that grease and grime and what old Shorty had been through. No. That was just short. Anyhow, it's a nice little wedding. Old Shorty was a pretty smart little fella. Can I help you, bud? God bless. Thanks for stopping by. Ed Kirkpatrick.